A caladium is an aeroid. It comes from the Amazon River Basin. It is actually a tuber, not a bulb, but when the Dutch started, they called everything bulbs, and so they called caladium bulbs, but technically they're tubers, so they're a, they're a modified root structure. They are tropical. They cannot take much temperature under 50 degrees. Matter of fact, for them to start making their tubers in October, we need the nighttime temperatures to dip down a couple of times, and that helps us make our crop. Hi, I'm Terry Bates. I'm one of the daughters of Bates Sons and Daughters in Lake Placid, Florida, and you are standing in front of some of my fields. My grandfather started this business back in 1944 when he came back from World War II. Um, he was Bates and Sons. My father had four daughters. My uncle got killed in a car wreck. So in the 1990s, my father changed it to Bates Sons and Daughters because three of the four daughters came into the business. We're growing about 100 acres. This is some of the original land that we grew off of. We ship internationally, all over the United States. I am the only female caladium farmer, which is a lot of the reasons for our success. So you see these beautiful fields, and although it kills people for me to tell them this, what we're going to do, if they haven't already died back from cold weather, it takes us three months to harvest, okay? So in the middle of November, we will go in and mow what we need. So we will actually mow them down to ground level with a frail mower, and then we'll come in with a potato digger, because nothing's made for caladiums, it's too small of industry, so it's a, it's a modified potato digger, and we'll actually lift them out of the ground, put them into the wagons, take them to the warehouses, and process them from there. So people are buying the bulbs from us, they're not buying the plants from us. Right now, commercially, I have 41 varieties and probably 20 to 25 that are in experimental. So the, the best way to come and experience is come to the Caladium Festival. It's always the last full weekend in July. There's multiple growers. So in other words, a lot of my varieties no one else has, and other people have varieties that I don't have. So you get a, you get, you know, a selection more like 200 varieties, not the 41 that I grow. It's a great way to make a living, and I really enjoy what I do.